I'm Jack Kenny. The, 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 um, this is going to introduce myself. I run. I, I run where I was competing. So what can you tell us about? But you guys have to ask me questions. I'm not just to do a speech. I have nothing prepared. What can you tell? I'm going to flip it on you. It's coming up. Yeah, we're, really? That's the first story. Oh, I can trust me. I'm going to a lot of details. Go some. Give All me right, some let's detail, talk about girl. Claudia's sister. Claudia's sister. Excellent. Nicely done. Nicely done. Um, well, it, we're gonna we're gonna meet her. We're gonna find out why she's an incredibly dangerous woman, and it's probably not why you think. Um, we're gonna discover that. I mean, Car uh, Artie said he knew her before he even met Claudia, so we'll go flash back and see some of that. We'll see very very young Claudia, very very young Claire, and um, we will find resolution to it. You know, it'll, it's a, it's a beautiful story for Allison. I mean, she and and, and the, the actress we got to play her sister is wonderful. Um, they 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 connected immediately. They're both dancers. They both like to sing. I mean, they've been they've been traipsing all over Toronto together, having a great time. It's it's been wonderful, um, and and so their relationship is filled already with so much rich, richness and beauty, beauty, and they've made me cry several times in the in the in the stuff they've already done. Uh, it'll have it will find a nice resolution, I think, and I think uh, it's a fun journey for Claudia to go on here, and then she'll find out something really uh, surprising about Hardy uh, in the in the finale, and have to deal with that. What about Josh? Is he gonna be moved back into this? Josh. Oh, Josh. Yeah, you know, it's hard to, honestly, the hardest thing about only having six was the fact that we weren't going to be able to deal with everybody. I mean, we don't get to see uh, Peach Mom again. And I, I was wildly disappointed in that. We barely get to see HG. Because, uh, first of all, most of these people are working, so it's hard to get them to come and do episodes. And it's just, because we only had six, I really wanted to focus on the regulars. I really wanted to give them big send-offs, big stories. We're doing, you know, Pete and Steve end up in a renaissance fair, and there's a big story that happens there, a lot of craziness and wild artifact stuff. Um, they fall into a telenovela <laughs> in an episode, and, I mean, we wanted to do big stuff, big, big, uh, exciting stories that, that, uh, that they could have, that they could stick their teeth to, and the fans could go on these great ride every week, you know, six great rides. Actually, episode six is five great rides in episode six, and because uh, it's kind of a, uh, it's kind of a clip show without, with all new clips, because it's, uh, it's, it's, we had five great stories that we wanted to tell, and we only had one episode to tell it in, so we put them all in that episode, and it's a really cool way to, to end the series, I think, and it's very exciting and very, um, very moving, and every character finds something out about themselves they didn't know, and they find out something about somebody else they didn't know, and they, the family grows and learns in, in one episode, and then they, it's just a really satisfying. Is it open-ended? Um, Big part. Is it open-ended that you picked up with maybe a TV movie or? Oh yeah, sure. I think I think Warehouse. Of, yes, we do not. Everybody doesn't die. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's yes. The ovarian cancer is resolved. The ovarian cancer is resolved. Well, honestly, if we had had 13 or 20, I would have played that out a little more. But it gets resolved very, very quickly because I can't, you know, it, it turns out to be a benign system. Because I can't, I don't want, oh, it's, you know, Mike is in, in chemo for three episodes and nobody wants to see that. I mean, if I had more time to deal with it and really dig into it more, I would have. I certainly don't mean disrespect to anybody who's dealing with that horrible thing in their lives. I, I, that was our whole point of trying to let, trying to deal with a show and have something real happen to them. Other than crazy artifact stuff, that there's actually real life that hits you at some point. You have to deal with it in the midst of it all. But unfortunately, because of the nature of the last six, I just didn't have time. So she kind of gets over it pretty quickly and moves on. And because she's Micah and she's strong and powerful, she can do anything. So that's how we. With yeah. only getting set, what kind of pressure did you feel? Because you know, I love the show. So seeing only you guys only get six, kind of, it was like it's disappointing. You know, just seeing. Oh, absolutely. That I, I didn't. There wasn't a lot of. I didn't feel pressure. I mean, it was, I was sad. That we didn't get more to explore. At the same time, six is—it's nice because I can really dig, all the scripts were written when we, before we started, and I've been able to rewrite and rewrite and rewrite and really focus on rewrites at night. I'm directing three of them, so I'm really able to dig in and, and, and mold each episode as much as I want. And in a way, it's been very freeing because we can focus so strongly on these six. I'm not—I don't have seven more looming in the distance because you know once the season gets going, I'm. I'm editing, I'm looking at his effects, I'm rewriting outlines, I'm taking notes calls. Uh, there's a thousand things that are going on, so things get diluted and things slip through the cracks that I would have made changes and done better. But with six, I can do six really solid, fantastic episodes that I think are going to, I mean, it's going to make people want more, but you know, then we'll do movies. But yes, it will be open-ended enough that we could do a movie, or two or five. Are you going to redeem me a little? Because I'm 
the end of the season. Well, you just want to choke him. Like, I know, I know. We, we will, we will redeem him. But he was blinded by his, how much he loves Mike in terms of like I, because I mean, I, I can't think about the scene they played outside the warehouse. I start crying because they played it so beautifully, and it was just. He was such a little boy. I mean, that's a great thing about Pete, right? He's a little boy. He's 12 years old, and or 10 years old, and a little boy who thinks he can save his his the person he cares most about from dying. He's going to do anything he can do without thinking about the consequences. But yes, we will redeem him, and he will, he will, we will save the day and and move forward through the rest of this. But it's a really cool way they say we got we actually end up we actually go back to Warehouse Nine and meet the Warehouse Nine agents. And, and learn some cool things about about how the warehouse operated in Constantinople, and, and uh, it's it's really fun. It's a really fun ride. Well, that's going to be interesting too because it seems like Claudia seems to generally be the person who saves the day on the team, and she's, she's in that position again. She is. She is. She is in the position to save the day. I do feel like they, they they do it together. You know, they they get in there and they save Claudia. They save Claudia from Paracelsus, and she she kind of helps save herself. There's no, there's no one hero on our show. They're all heroes. They can't, they couldn't do this without each other. And they really, and that to me is what family is all about, right? Family is there because they need each other. It always gets me, you know, a little. I get a little misty when I think about how important the family aspect of the show is to me, because you know, they're always talking about how families in, in, in this day and age are not what they used to be. Well, this is, they are. These guys are family. What about Lena? She's part of the family. Are we going to see her again in the final season? You know, uh, uh, she's one of the people that I didn't know how to get to. I didn't know how to resurrect. There's other people that you will see. Um, it was hard to get to Lena. You know, as I, as I mentioned in the past, I, I someone needed to die so that death meant something. Because if nobody ever really dies, then death, there's no stakes anymore. There's nothing, if anybody can be brought back to life, then who cares if you get killed? So someone had to die, as, and to me the most, the most emotional part of that was that someone that she loved killed her, and that loved her, and that was like, you know, that was the best way to do it. It had to be done, it wasn't just some random bad guy, it was Artie. So it was worth it to me to do that. Lena was very hard to get into stories. For some reason, it was hard to work that character into stories. And and she was just always there on the phone or looking something up. And I felt like it was kind of a disservice to the character. And her best story was her last one, I thought. You know, for, for both as an actress and as a character, her best story was that she couldn't leave Hardy alone. You know, she had to go back and save him. Yeah, we've only got six episodes, but what about the regions? There's still been a lot that we haven't explored with them. Are we going to get... Hard to get to a little bit. We get a little bit, but the regions are. First of all, half of them are dead, and <laughs> and and then the other half are unavailable. <laughs> just, you know, you do run into a lot of issues with availability with actors. People wonder why a certain actor never comes back to a show. Probably because they got a. A sitcom or an animated series or something that prevents them, you can't get them. And they're bringing Canvas on like five shows. I know, it's true. They're, and they're all shooting in Toronto. Just do a pop in. Just do a quick pop in for Yeah, for exactly. Well, if you can, but you know that never works, right? I mean, it's as it is, I'm, we're playing, I'm bringing HG back, and I am, we are maneuvering right now to try to make that work because she's on the clients, right? And, you know, her boards aren't done. We don't know when we're going to need her. It's just, it becomes a nightmare to get somebody that's on another show. We're already dealing with that with our big bad. A surprising character we're bringing back. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. Yes. In Vegas. I won't say where. Like you said, um, you're bringing HD back, or you're trying to. And yeah. We actually got to talk to her, the Defiance family, yesterday. She was very, very nice and spoke very highly of the show. In what capacity are you going to bring her back? As H.G. Wells? No, I mean, like, what she, can you tell us anything that she'd be. Um, we will see her in Warehouse 12. We'll see her what she's in Warehouse 12, and we'll also see her as having returned to the team briefly to help them with another artifact study. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, thanks for the support. <laughs> <laughs>